volcanic eruptions can change lives. The 1959 eruption of Kilauea Volcano on the big island of Hawaii started with spectacular fountains of lava and ended with the tragic destruction of a village. In November 1959, thousands of small earthquakes were detected near Kilauea Iki Crater on the eastern edge of the volcano's summit. Kilauea Iki means little Kilauea, but the eruption turned out to be far from little. To prepare for future eruptions, scientists study past eruptions to find patterns in the volcano's behavior. The 1959 eruption was one of the most explosive eruptions in Kilauea's history. Bruce, Sarah, and Dawn are trying to find out why. Like detectives, these volcanologists search for clues in the tephra. What is tephra? Tephra. 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 Oh, tephra. Tephra down the knickers. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Icelandic word. Tefra is anything falling out of a fountain or an eruption. Combining their new observations with data from the past 50 years, the team can reconstruct the Kilauea Iki eruption from the magma's point of view. Everything starts upstairs. It's cold up in the clouds, and the higher the cloud, the colder it is, the more likely there is for ice to form in the cloud. Of the thousands of bacteria in the world, only three cause ice formation. How can this be? Well, they have a specific protein on their surface, and they make it when it's cold, and it looks a little bit like this and the water molecules line up perfectly if they are ice with this protein. And so they cause ice formation. Put that in the freezer or the refrigerator at um, temperature, it's I think four degrees Celsius or so, just to get the bacteria to express the ice nucleation proteins. And from there, once the proteins are expressed, we can take a diluted sample of that and test it in supercooled water. The water is at negative seven degrees Celsius. Everything's got to be completely sterile when you do this. <laughs> that was a good one. this planet, I really can't stand it that animals and plants are suffering damage at the hands of us humans who assume it behooves us to intrude and abuse this environment we use. And boy, do we use it. Now pick up the beat. We mine and we drill and we burn and repeat. We sacrifice trees for each building and street. Now pots of our planet are feeling the heat. This stuff is real.
snake here spreads throughout the atmosphere. It goes from these roads where they're revving their engines to those ice flows that are peppered with penguins. And it's not just happening far away. It's here in the Massachusetts Bay. Boston's lobsters, our favorite seafoods, are moving to cooler latitudes. The smoke gets thicker and the planet gets sicker. The problems get bigger. Well, everybody bickers. Do we throw up our hands and stick our heads in the sand? Wait for Uncle Sam, afraid of the soup.